Buenas noches. Hi everyone, good evening. Hi teacher. Hi Diego. Good evening. Good evening. Hi teacher. Hi Rolando, how are you? Fine, and you? Pretty good, thank you so much for asking. Yeah. Let's check. Hi, Beatriz. Good evening. Hi, Hi teacher. Good evening. 
Good. Well, Hi, Claudia. Hi, teacher. Hi. Welcome. All right, everyone. Welcome back to your English class. It's a pleasure to see you. you. Es un placer verlos, all right? I see that you are safe and sound. Están muy bien, so let's get started. Today is Thursday, February 9, 2023. Class number four. We are officially in section number two. What's this? All right? And let me tell you something. Let's check. Um, tomorrow, we are going to have a class, all right? Tomorrow we have class. Okay. Yes. Teacher, puedo hacerle una consulta. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Este para incorporarse a la plataforma, fíjese que yo intenté y me sale de que no estoy inscrito. Mm, really. ¿Y ya se contactó con alguien de soporte técnico? Eh, no. Okay. Eh, you should. Le recomiendo que si ¿sí está en el grupo de WhatsApp. Sí, sí. Vaya, ayer escribió una señorita de inglés corporativo que se llama Fernanda Córdoba. Correcto. Y ella dijo que ante cualquier cosa que ustedes tuvieran necesidad, podían contactarse con ella. Entonces, my, my suggestion for you is to contact her, right? Lo que yo sí. le puedo sugerir es que le escriba o le hable. Y estoy segura que ella le va a brindar la ayuda que necesita. Muy bien, thank you. You're welcome. De igual manera, yo le voy a pasar registro a mi, a mi jefe, ¿ok? So let him know, para hacerle saber. All right, so let's check, everyone. As I was telling you, tomorrow we have class. Como les estaba diciendo, el programa de ustedes, eh, usualmente los días viernes no tienen clase, all right? It's from Monday to Thursday. Va desde lunes al jueves. But this week and next week, we are going to be using Fridays to class, right? So that's it. Estas dos semanas vamos a estar teniendo clase los viernes. So try to be as much as you can and energetic, all right? Try to be with a lot of energy through these days because we're still missing two classes. Tratemos de inyectarnos un poquito de energía para que podamos aguantar la clase de ahora y la clase de mañana. So let's check. Let's get started. Do you remember? Mention the verb to be. Okay, so yesterday uh, we were watching the verb to be, all right? We were studying with the verb to be. So we, we were studying that we only have three verbs, all right? So can you tell me which are those three verbs? Do I have a volunteer? Yo, teacher. Excellent, thank you. Uh, am, is, are. Bravo, excellent, that's correct. Am, is, are, that's correct, there you go. Number two, mention the verb to be a structure. So, yesterday I showed you the structure to create affirmative statements. Ayer veíamos la estructura para crear oraciones, right? Eh, cuando ustedes escuchan la palabra statements, significa lo mismo que sentence. Solo que un statement es como una declaración, right? No, no declaración de, de algo más, solo cuando usted acert, está acertando en algo. Okay? So, es lo mismo que una oración. Entonces, yesterday we saw the structure. Do I have a volunteer to share with me the structure? Action, Claudia. Subject, mm -hmm. verb to be, com complement. That's correct. Thank you. Now, let's go with number three. Tell me one sentence using verb to be. Utilizando la estructura que vimos ayer, quiero una oración. ¿Quién me la va a dar? Probablemente ya la tienen hecha porque trabajaron en eso ayer. Action, Cristina. And uh, you are, you are beautiful. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Excellent. And remember everyone, the verb to be is pretty useful when you want to express things about someone, right? El verb to be, así como acaba de hacer la oración Cristina, es muy útil para expresar opiniones acerca de una persona o básicamente describirla. And that's correct. Thank you. Now let's move on. Questions with be a structure. 
en every tense, en cada tiempo gramatical, usted va a ver la estructura de las preguntas. Y no va a encontrar solo una estructura, va a encontrar dos. Right? Ahorita vamos a ver una. Eh, este nuevo, el verb to be no es un tipo gramatical, es una estructura, podríamos llamarlo, right? Porque puede estar, esta estructura ahorita está en present, pero puede estar en progressive, puede estar en future, puede estar en past, right? Entonces, solo es una structure. Entonces, eh, la, esta structure que tenemos aquí se reza así. Verb to be plus subject plus complement plus question mark. You got the question mark uh, name in, in the parentheses, all right? Tenemos la palabrita question mark, las dos palabras, question mark, que significa signo de interrogación, all right? Lo puse entre parentheses. So let me listen to Wendy Salguero. Read the structure, please. Verb to be plus subject plus complement plus Question mark. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Thank you. Okay. Have you finished copying the structure? Finish. Great. Excellent. Very good. So let's move on. Guiding examples. Am I hungry again? Notice. Nothing. In the primera estructura que ustedes aprendieron ayer, tenían. Primero el sujeto y luego el verb to be. Cuando hacemos preguntas, tenemos el verb to be y luego el sujeto. Am I hungry again? Is she your sister? Is Paolo your boss? Are we students? Are my parents angry? Is it my cat old? Are, are you free tonight? No, are you free today? Are you free today? Okay, so let me have Diego Valdez read number one, two, and three. Okay, I am hungry again. Mm -hmm. Is she your sister? Is Paulo your boss? Excellent, thank you. Wendy Padilla, four, five, six, and seven, please. Okay, are we students? Are my parents angry? Is, is it my car old? Seven? Ah, seven. Are you free today? Excellent, very good. All right, so let's take notes of these examples because then you are going to practice. And I don't want you to be like, not knowing the structure, all right? So let's check. Listen, everyone, the link for the class is always going to be the same, all right? El link de la clase no va a cambiar. Es el mismo, lo tienen ustedes en su correo. Si no se los enviaron en el correo, se los enviaron por WhatsApp, all right? So you have it. Y también hay una instructora les puso el día de ayer, creo, o el miércoles, que también podían encontrarlo al principio del grupo del WhatsApp. Ahí tenían el link, right? So then you are not asking for it every class. Yes, everyone, all right, listen up, tenemos que, miren, tenemos que ser bastante cuidadosos con esto, ahí está el, el link en WhatsApp, all right, solo le dan a donde aparece el número del, del, del grupo que tienen, y ahí les aparece el link, les aparece el meeting ID y la contraseña, all right, there's no way to get lost, no hay manera de perderse, all right, so let's move on, practice time, instructions, let me see, Brian, help me, please. Number one, two, and three. Number one, work individual, individually. Mm -hmm. Number two, create one question using verb to be. Number three, share your question with the class. That's correct, sir. Excellent. Thank you. 
All right, using this structure, using these examples, create your own example, all right? I'm gonna give you two minutes. Finished? You got your example? Uh, done. Great. Finished. Excellent. Done. Very good. Okay, let's get started. So let me hear you, um, Claudia Flores, please read your example. Oh, no la tengo. Okay. But you're going to pass, okay? Quiero que todos me participen en esta parte. Tómese su tiempo, Claudia, it's okay? Pero todos me van a participar. I'll tell you why. Ya les digo por qué. So let's go with the next one. Uh, Vicky Elizabeth, please. Um, are they at the supermarket? Very good, very good. Our day at the supermarket. Excellent, Vicky. Thank you. Let's go with Kenya Martinez. Hola, no la tengo todavía. Okay, but you're going to pass. Marvin Romero. Are you play soccer today? All right. Um, Veamos, Marvin, ¿qué quiere decirme con eso en español? Ajá, uh -huh. I hear you. Lo escucho. No, creo que la redacté mal. Lo voy a corregir. Ok, cool. Yes, let's be careful. Te deseamos... Thank you, Marvin. Seamos cuidadosos y miren, por favor, hagan las, las questions, all right? Hoy, he, hoy me he ido hasta abajo del grupo para ver quiénes son los últimos que se conectan y por eso no me participan casi. Y ya van cuatro personas que me van diciendo, no la tengo, no la tengo, all right? Entonces, we need to bump it up, right? Tenemos que trabajar un poquito más fuerte, everybody, si no, no van a cumplir su meta. Y mi propósito es que ustedes la cumplan, all right? So let's check. Eh, recuerden, si ustedes están hablando en una acción progresiva, ya no es el verb to be. Ya es progressive tense. Let's go with Wendy Padilla, please. I'm not sure if it's correct, but mm -hmm. are we studying on Friday? Are we studying on Friday? Mm -hmm. no. Right. It's studying ING. It's ING. It's progressive. Are right. we studying on Friday? Uh -huh. Ahí no aplica, Wendy, porque ahorita estamos viendo el verb to be eh, como normal, Simple. podríamos decir, sin tiempo gramatical, solo en presente, right? Y ahí usted me puso studying, porque así tiene que ser, está correcta. Su question está totalmente correcta, pero me puso studying, right? No, yo puse are we study. Vaya, ¿qué, quiere está decir, mal. ¿Qué quiere decirme en español usted? Lo no, que en español es... Eh, nosotros eh, vamos a estar estudiando los viernes. Y vamos a estar estudiando, ¿a qué le suena a usted? ¿Presente o futuro? Como futuro, ¿verdad? Exactly, there you go. There you go. Uh -huh. Wendy. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Actually, 
en realidad es una acción progresiva para futuro. Y existe eso, right Cuando ustedes estén en el present progressive, se van a dar cuenta que existe una eh, situación que puede ser progresiva y va a continuar en el futuro. ¿Okay? Que en Entonces el caso... podría ser, are we happy today? Bravo. That one is simple. No. Yes. Sí, es así. Bravo. Sí, es así. Está es así. Are yes. we happy today? Yes, very good. Okay. Are we happy today? Great job, Wendy. Me gusta. Hizo dos examples. Let's okay. go with the next one. Muy bien, la felicito. Vamos Ay, a ver. Con... Me... Ah, bueno. ¿Ah? No, pero es que me cuesta siempre como, como saber eh, como esa diferencia de las estructuras. Uh -huh. Solo trate de pensar, Wendy. Vaya, le voy a pedir un favor. Trabaje con lo que se le da en la estructura. Cuando sea una estructura en ING, a usted le va a aparecer así, mire. Plus verb in ING. All right. Cuando sea otro tipo de estructura. Mientras no sea otro tipo de estructura, a usted solo le va a aparecer así. All right. Entonces, no se preocupe ahorita, Wendy. No, no se sienta mal ni nada, porque esto a todos los learners nos pasa. Right? A todo lo que hemos pasado por el proceso de aprendizaje, nos ha ido igual. Y es parte del proceso de aprendizaje. So, great. Eh, let's go with Rolando and then Beatriz Enríquez. Your microphone, Mr. Hernandez. Eh, muy bien, Mr. Eh, you are intelligent. Puede ser una oración. Ah, ve, hagamos, esa es una oración, pero hagamos la pregunta. Ajá. Are you? Ah, uh, are you? Are you? Intelligent. You are intelligent. Ajá. Very good. Se dio cuenta okay. como una oración yo la puedo pasar a pregunta. Okay. Right. Muy bien. Okay. Right. Are you intelligent? All right, let's go with Beatriz, please. Mire, teacher, puede ser así. I am work tomorrow. Sorry? I am work tomorrow. Que sí. Right. Ese ya es futuro. Uh -huh. I work tomorrow. El futuro. Y mm -hmm. por el is tomorrow. Mar is Maria my friend? Sorry, eh, perdón Beatriz, ese no es futuro, el que le dije es presente, pero es simple present, no tiene que ver con el verb to be. A ver, hágame la siguiente. Is Maria my friend? Very good, excellent. Esa sí está correcta. Is Maria my friend? Great. Listen up, everyone. Usually in Spanish, we speak at any tense that we want. Usualmente en español, si hablamos rápido, no medimos ni siquiera en qué tiempo gramatical estamos hablando. Right? Entonces, este, tenemos que tener muchísimo cuidado con eso porque en inglés no funciona así. Si yo digo un tiempo gramatical erróneo, confundo a la persona. Right? Y no estoy expresando lo que quiero expresar. Therefore, por ello, no me van a entender. Let's go with the next one. Vamos con el siguiente. Brian, please. Uh, is Fernando your brother? Very good, excellent. You guys, try to remember the information that we saw yesterday. Para que se les haga más fácil, traten de recordar la información que se nos dio ayer. All right? Solo decía que era para ver el estado de las personas, para describir personas, o inclusive objetos, all right? Y para saber información de las personas también. Como la pregunta que hizo Brian. Okay? So let's check. Let's go with Diego Valdez and after Diego, Christian Elias. Okay. Um, it's Febe Salvadorian. Uh -huh. All right. It's Febe Salvadorian. So le tiene que poner el is, is Febe. Is Febe. Uh -huh. Yes, porque ya tiene el sujeto. Febe sería su sujeto. Okay. Like this. Veamos. Is Febe. Y le pone el sí. Teacher, pero ahí le hace falta el she. Ya está sustituido por Febe. All right? Sí. 
Very good. Excellent, Diego, thank you. Recuerden que pueden decir Salvadoran o Salvadorian. Either or are okay. Let's go, Elias. Is he your boyfriend? Very good, excellent, there you go. That's correct. Wendy Salguero. Is Katie your girlfriend? Very good, excellent. Thank you. Let's go back to the last ones. Uh, what about Fatima Ramirez? Okay, it is your computer. Is it your computer? Yes. Right, así Fatima. Is it your computer? Si me lo puso, it is your computer, me está dando la aclaración de que la computadora es suya. Ok. Pero si lo pone con el verb to be primero, me está preguntando. Ok. That's correct. Let's go with the next one. Lucía Beatriz. Good evening. Good evening. Um, Sería, is he your father? Very good, excellent. When you want to know information, that's correct. Cristina okay. Moran. Are the son? Is, uh, quiere preguntar si es hijo suyo. Hijo si de es tu hijo. Uh -huh. uh, is he your son? Is he your son? También tengo otra. Yes. Is she your grandmother? Very good, that's correct. Yes, indeed, thank you. Let's go with, let me check, okay. Say it Alfaro, please. Okay, is it my correct? All right, very good. Yes, that's correct. Let's go with Susana Sanchez. Mm. Is my sister here? Yes, very good. Is my sister in here? Very good. Let's go with. Vaya, a los que les pregunté al principio, ya ahorita yo creo que ya tienen sus preguntas. So let's go with Vicky Elizabeth. Ya pasé con una a de al supermarket, pero ah Vicky, I'm sorry, no era usted, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Sí, sí, sí. All right. Excellent. Thank you. Melvin Alarcón, please. Are they brothers? Are they brothers? Very good. Marvin Romero. Kenia Martínez. Hola, eh, no sé si será. He What? is your mother. Is she your mother? Ay, perdón. Sí, está correcto. Pero me lo dijo en, en statement, me lo dijo como en afirmación. She is Ajá. your mother. All right. Pero lo okay. correcto es, is she? Is she. Ok. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. All right, let me check. Claudia Flores. No recuerdo si era Claudia Flores o Claudia Pineda la que no, no cortó. Yo, yo. Okay, <ríe> excellent, Miss Flores. Eh, tengo dos, pero no sé. Eh, puede ser, are you free tomorrow? Mm -hmm, yeah, yeah, are you free tomorrow? Yes. Another one? No me quiere compartir la otra que tiene. <ríe> este, es que era siempre con ar, pero era, are we finish? Are we finished? Yes, very good. Yes, it's correct. Very good. All right, listen, everyone. I think I'm not missing anyone. Creo que ahorita a Roxana Chacón, please. Uh, are you like in San Salvador? Uh, ¿Qué me quiere decir con eso, Roxana? En español. Uh, ¿Tú vives en San Salvador? Vale, entonces ahí vamos a utilizar auxiliares, verbos auxiliares. Todavía no llegamos a esa parte. 
para hacerla así como usted quiere, tendría que ser do you live? Y ahorita no tenemos el verbo auxiliar. Ahorita solo estamos con el auxiliar be. Sí, don't worry, okay, no se preocupe. Entonces, uh -huh. eh, esa otra. Is it my dog black or white? Very good, excellent, yes. That's correct, that one is correct indeed. All right, there you go, everyone. Okay. Congratulations. Los felicito. La mayoría pasó. Creo que solo me hizo falta una persona, but I have it over here. Elisa Romet. Your heart is glass today. Today. Vaya, otra con auxiliar. Do you have your class today? Mm -hmm. Aquí no tenemos el verb to be, so we need to be careful. Tenemos que tener cuidado, right? Ahí no tenemos verb to be. Y tengo otra. Ajá, let me hear you. We are item. Sorry? We are. We are. We are. Ajá. Item. No. Eh, eh, somos un equipo. Ah, bye. Excelente. Veamos. Are we a team? Team. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sí. Right. Y recuerden, apeguémonos a la estructura. Thank you, Elisa. Excelente, Elisa. Thank you. Apeguémonos a la estructura, everybody. La estructura aquí no está solo para llenar un cuadro, está para que la sigamos. All right. Si me dice el verb to be, que eso va primero, entonces, ¿qué va primero? El verb to be. El verb to be, exactly. We need to make use out of it. Tenemos que hacer uso de él, right? Al principio de la oración. Puede ser, y no me quiero alargar diciéndoles esto, pero puede ser que quizás en algún TV show ustedes hayan escuchado que comienzan con el sujeto y solo le dan el sonido a la pregunta. Por ejemplo, Is she your mom? Right? Esto estamos aprendiendo ahorita basado en la estructura. Verb to be, subject, complement. En los TV shows, en los shows de televisión, al aire o cualquier show que exista, o programa o novela, whatever, ponen esto. She is your mother. Cambian la regla gramatical, pero solo es posible hacer eso para los native speakers, para los nativos de la, del idioma, right? Los que ya lo manejan, like, they were born in there. Right. Solo para ellos se les permite hacer eso porque ellos le dan la intonación. Ellos le generan la entonación. Pero gramaticalmente correcto, solo es esto. Les aviso desde ya porque van a encontrar algún programa y no quiero que pensen, Ay, la teacher nos mintió, si podemos hacerlo así. Right? No, sí existe para ellos, for them. But you as learners, pero ustedes como aprendices, como estudiantes, tienen que manejar esta estructura. Right? There you go. Claudia Pineda, please. Are we walls at the home? Sorry, repeat it again. Are we walls at the home? Estamos trabajando en casa. ¿Mm? Eh, no, quería poner eh, si nos vamos caminando a la casa. Va. Ahí tenemos que utilizar. Ahí no tenemos el verb to be, Claudia. All right. So, let's be careful with it. Ahí está okay. utilizando usted el verbo walk. Y si bien está bueno que utilicemos los verbos con el verb to be, no va en la misma estructura. Veamos la estructura de nuevo. A ver, eh... Fátima Joven, léame la estructura, please. B plus subject plus complement. Complement. Right? Let's complement. Complement. Very good. Plus question mark. No se nos olvide el question mark. Veamos los ejemplos. En ninguno de estos ejemplos tenemos un verbo. Number one. What is this? Hungry. Hambriento. Brian, what is this? ¿Qué es para usted? ¿Un verbo o es un adjetivo? Adjetivo. 
have to do. That's correct. Very good. And this one, this is your complement. And esto es su complemento, everyone. Pero no hay ningún verbo. Lo mismo que en esta. No tenemos verbo. En esta, no tenemos verbo. Angry, parents angry, say, ¿qué sería angry? Subject, adjective, or verb? Excuse me, me la puedes repetir. Sure. What is angry? Adjective, verb, or subject? Adjective. Mm -hmm. That's correct, angry, right? Old. Let me check. Uh, Jocelyn Ramirez, before you fall asleep. Old. Is it an adjective, a verb, or a subject? Mm, adjective. That's correct. Very good. Free today is a phrase. All right. We don't have another verb. Notice, please. Notemos. No tenemos verbos aquí. El único verbo que tenemos es el verb to be. Okay. Think about that. Pensemos en eso y se le va a hacer un poco más fácil generar la, estru la, la estructura en las preguntas. Okay. So let's check. Let's practice with numbers. We got from zero. O. Oh. Recuerden que el zero lo pueden decir como zero o pueden decir O. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Este no es otra palabra. Este es six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Así de facilito, right? Let's check. Let's go with Cristina Morán. Tell me the numbers, please. Four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's correct. Elisa Romero, tell me the numbers, please, from zero to ten. Oh, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thank you. Very good job. Uh, Roxana Chacon, tell me the numbers from zero to ten. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's correct. Thank you. Now let's check what are the numbers that we have in the pictures. Let me see, Beatriz Enriquez, tell me the phone number of Miss Silva, the blue shirt. Deme el número de teléfono de Miss Silva en el cuadro azul, la tarjetita azul. Two, oh, one, five, 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 two, four, nine, one. That's correct. Thank you. Um, let me check. Elias, tell me the, uh, the home phone. Número de casa. Okay. Nine, one, four, five, 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 two, seven, one, four. All right, excellent. Thank you, Brian Ventura. Tell me the cell phone, please. Let's try to be a bit fast. A four five 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 one zero oh, two three. That's correct. Thank you, Jocelyn. Tell me the the work phone from James, please. James work phone. Eight zero zero five 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 eight eight nine three. Very good, excellent. Thank you. Let's go with Wendy Padilla. Let's check Wendy. Tell me the home phone. Six zero oh, four five 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 two seven one four. Very good job, excellent. I like the fluency. Diego Valdez, tell me the cell phone, please. 
um, 2505551023. That's correct. Thank you. All right. There you go, everyone. Easy peasy. Instructions. Let me hear Fatima Ramirez. Read the instructions, please. Where individually create a fake phone number, share your phone number. Very good. Create a fake phone number. Un numero de teléfono falso. Fake, all right? Let's do this, please. Hagamos esto, por favor. And then you are going to tell the phone number to one of your classmates. Melvin, do you have a question? Fíjese que yo tenía una pregunta y ya estaba haciendo esa parte en el portal. Y ahí ponen un audio que hay que poner los números que ahí los mencionan. Uh -huh. Y ponen cierta cantidad de personas. Yo estaba viendo y la persona, la Jennifer, creo que sea, no aparece en el audio. Se puso el suyo. All right. Let me check. 798832. Mm. Wait, who's talking? 798832. Permítame, Melvin. A alguien se le ha abierto el micrófono. Everyone, I have told you before, let's be careful with the mics. Wendy, do you have a question? Ya le digo, Melvin. Eh, con respecto a lo que Melvin decía, ah. si aparece solo que es el mismo del anterior. Okay. Hay una parte que menciona que es el mismo. Oh, Porque really? es como que viven en la misma casa las personas. Okay, so you just need to pay carefully attention, Melvin. Because according to Wendy, it does appear, right? Si sí aparece, solo tienen que eh, ser un poquito más eh, cuidadoso con el listening, right? No, yo sinceramente lo escuché varias veces y no escucho que menciona Jennifer, la verdad, por eso no sé. All right, let me, let me check. Vamos a chequear eso ahorita. Let me know when you're finished creating your, your phone number, your fake phone number. Done. Great. Okay, Brian, tell your phone number to to Roxana Chacon, please. Vaya, Brian le va a dar su su número de teléfono, Roxana. Okay. What's your what's your phone number? My phone number is seven nine eight three four five zero oh, three. Right now, Rosana, give yours. Let it to you, Rosana. My phone number is seven five zero eight six eight two one. Right. Very good. Thank you. That's correct. Okay, let me check Melvin, ¿verdad? Este, usted me preguntó por el número 5, Jennifer Miller's phone number. Sí, ella. Sí aparece. Sí aparece su phone number. That's what I'm telling you. Eso es lo que le estoy diciendo. Tiene que prestar cuidadosa atención y le recomiendo que busque un lugar eh, Silencioso, podríamos decir, para que no se le dificulte entender el audio. All right? Okay. Porque si aparece el phone number de ella, yo lo estoy viendo ahorita en la platform. So, yes, it does. So, let's move on to the next one. Cristina, select someone, please. Escoja a alguien y le dice su número de teléfono. Elisa. Right. Excellent. Eh, yo hago la pregunta. No, you, you tell her. Usted le dice. My phone number is 75835277. Right. Now, Elisa, tell yours. What your point? El mío le tengo que dar hoy. Yes. <laughs> Seven, nine, six, eight, ten, nine, four, three, eight. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Now, let's go. I had somebody raising their hand. Tenía alguien que estaba levantando su mano. Everyone, once again, let's be careful with the mics. All right. 
de repente ahí escucho el chambre de la tía porque tiene el micrófono abierto. All right, let's be careful with it. Seamos cuidadosos. Beatriz Enríquez, Liz, select someone, seleccione a alguien. Eh, Fátima Joven. Very good. Tell your phone number, Beatriz. My phone number is 7122801. 10. What's your phone number is Fatima Joel? All right. What's your phone number, Fatima? My phone number is 36751842. Very good, excellent. Thank you, y'all. That's correct. All right, let's move on to the next one. What's in your bag? ¿Qué hay en su bolso? All right, so I'm going to play the audio. Voy a ponerles el video con el audio. Okay, just go back. Quiero que presten cuidadosa atención a la pronunciation, please. Después, obviamente, yo les voy a ayudar también con la pronunciation, but right now I need you to listen the video, to listen to the audio. So I'm going to share it with you. Do you see the platform right now? Si ven la plataforma ahorita? Yes. 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 Okay, let's play. Hi everyone. In this class you will become familiar with Do you listen to the audio? Yes. 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 Okay. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Which people have in their bag. We will listen to a quick audio and you should listen and repeat. An address book. A hairbrush. A wallet. Sunglasses. A CD player. A camera. Keys. A cell phone. All right, that's it. <laughs> Simple as that. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing this one. Let's go back to the PowerPoint presentation. So we have an address book, a hairbrush, a wallet, sunglasses, a CD player, a cell phone, keys, camera. I'm gonna give you a key. Yo les voy a dar una clave. Cuando no les aparezca la A antes del noun, no la pronuncien, no la pongan, porque por algo no aparece, ¿ok? Entonces, si aquí tengo a hairbrush y después tengo glasses, no voy a decir a glasses, a keys, no, porque no me aparece ningún, en ningún indefinite article. No tengo ningún artículo indefinido aquí. No tengo ni el an ni el a, right? That's because it's plural. Eso es porque está en plural. So let's check. Let's go first one with Wendy Padilla. Tell me the vocabulary, please. Okay. A hairbrush, a wallet, a CD player, an address book, a camera. No, esa no estoy seguro si se pronuncia así. Which one? A camera. Camera, ajá. Uh -huh. Yes, that's correct. Okay, keys. Uh -huh, keys. A cell phone. Yes, yes, indeed. Thank you so much. Let's go with Jocelyn Ramirez. After Jocelyn Alfredo Ramirez. What's in your bag? Uh, a camera, case, a cell phone, a wallet, a sunglasses. CD player. Ay, la última no la logro ver bien. An address book. An address book. An another book. No, address book. Address book. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And repeat after me, please. Sunglasses. Sunglasses. Yes, very good. Let's go, Alfredo Ramirez. And after Alfredo, Beatriz Enriquez. Uh, what, is, uh, what is in your bag? An address book, a hairbrush, a wallet, sunglasses, a CD player, camera, keys, and cell phone. That's correct. Thank you. Let's go the next one. 
What is your book? Sungle, sunglasses, a hairbrush, a wallet, a CD player, a camera, a kiss, no, kiss, a cell phone, a Very other good. Very good, excellent. Good that you noticed. Que bueno que se fijó ahí que no llevaba la trait. Let's go with Said Ulises, please. Okay. What is your bad? And dress with and hybrid and wallet, sunglasses, a CD player, a cell phone, case, a camera. Okay, repeat after me. What? Okay. What's? What's? In your bag. In your bag. A hairbrush. A hairbrush. Keys. Keys. An address book. An address book. Sunglasses. Sunglasses. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Ulises. Very good. Let's go with the next one and the last one. Let me have Vicky Elizabeth, please. What's in your bed? Uh, and dress book, a hairbrush, a watch, sunglash, a CD player, a cell phone, ke keys, and camera. Repeat after me, sunglasses. Sunglasses. Mm -hmm. Hairbrush. Hairbrush. Yes, that's correct, very good. All right, so let's move on to a conversation. Let's listen to the audio program, all right? I'm going to share it with you. It's not this one, it's this one. Hi everyone, by the end of this class, you'll become familiar with this and these. Before I start explaining this topic, we're gonna listen to a quick audio which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's listen and repeat. Wow, what's this? It's a camera. Oh, cool. Thank you, Helen. It's great. You're welcome. Now open this box. Okay. Uh, what are these? They're earrings. Oh, they're... Interesting. Thank you, Rex. They're very nice. In order to understand the concept of this. Okay, let's stop it in there because it was just for the conversation. Let's go back to the conversation. It says. What's this? It's a camera. Oh, cool. Thank you, Helen. It's great. You're welcome. Now open this box. Okay, uh, what are these? They're earrings. Oh, they're interesting. Thank you, Rex. They're very nice. All right, let's go with who wants to be the, <clears throat> who wants to be a volunteer to practice with me? No, teacher. Great, let's go, Brian. Okay, you are going to be Helen. Usted va a ser Helen. Necesito un Rex también. All right. Vamos a poner a Claudia Pineda. Mm, Capiamos entonces. Claudia, usted va a ser Helen. Brian, usted va a ser Rex. All right. Okay. Wow, what's this? It's a camera. Oh, cool. Thank you, Helen. It's great. You're welcome. Now open this box. Okay, um, what are these? They're earrings. Oh, they're interesting. Thank you, Rex. They're very nice. Yay, bravo. Very good, y'all. That's correct. Good pronunciation. No mistakes. Now, let's have Wendy Padilla. You are Wendy <laughs> in the conversation, all right? Wendy, you are Wendy. And Fatima Jovel, you are Helen and Diego Valdez, you are Rex. Action. Wow. What is, what's this? It's a camera. Oh, cool. Thank you, Helen. It's great. 
You're welcome. No open this box. Okay. What are these? Their earnings. Oh, they're interesting. Thank you, Rex. They're very nice. Very good, excellent. Yay, good fluency. Everything was understandable, right? Bajo ninguna parte me perdieron. Excellent, thank you. Let's go with the next one. Say it, Ulises, you are Rex. Usted va a ser Rex. Um, Cristina Moran, you are Wendy. And let me check. Jocelyn Ramirez, you are Helen. Action. Well, what's this? It's a camera. Oh, cool. Thank you, Helen. It's great. You're welcome. Now, open this. Good. Box. <laughs> okay. Oh, what are these? They are earrings. Oh, they're interesting. Thank you, Rex. They are very nice. Very good. Excellent. There you go. Bravo. That's correct. Now, listen up, everyone. I know you're tired. Yo sé que están cansados, pero créanme, son los últimos minutos ya de la clase. Then you're going to fall asleep. Ganan ustedes porque terminan y a mí, mire, yo no, yo continúo, all right? Until 11, hasta las 11, all right? Y luego madrugo y viajo dos horas. Así que I got you, yo los comprendo totalmente, all right? But you need to wake up, pero tienen que despertarse. I need you to feel motivated. Necesito que estén motivados, que hagan la intonation como debe de ser. Por eso les pongo el video, por eso lo practico yo con ustedes, luego pido voluntarios. Respetemos, si tenemos exclamation marks, si tenemos signos de admiración, let's, let's go for it. Vamos por ellos, all right? Hablemos como si estuviéramos con los signos de, de admiración. Questions, preguntas, hagamos la intonation. Si ahí aparece un, oh, let's try to focus on that. Tratemos de darle la intonation. Now, eh... Ulises, repeat after me. Earrings. Earrings. Excellent. Cristina, interesting. Interesting. That's correct. Thank you. Let's go with the next pair. Let's see. Um, Wendy Salguero, you are, you are Helen, okay? And let me check. Mm -hmm. Beatriz Enriquez, you are Wendy. And Alfredo Ramirez, you are Rex. Action. Oh, what, what it is? It's a camera. Oh, cool. Thank you, Helen. It's great. You're welcome. Now open this box. Okay. Oh, what are these? They are they are earring. Oh, they are interesting. Thank you, Rex. They is very nice. Excellent. Thank you, y'all. Very good. Let's go with Lucia de Mejia. Mrs. Mejia, you are Wendy. Susana Sanchez, you are oh. Helen. Oh. Melvin Alarcón, you are Rex. Action. Oh. Wow, what is this? It's a camera. Oh, cool. Thank you. Helen, it's great. You are welcome. Oh, open the, the box. Okay. Oh, great. What are these? The earrings. Oh, they're interesting. Thank you, Rex. They're... Lucia, sorry. <laughs> Perdón. Repeat again, please. Oh, sí. oh, they're interesting. Thank you, Rex. They're very nice. Bravo, excellent. Hey, I really like this conversation. Intonation, Lucia, very good job. Okay. All right. 
we were respecting the symbols. Estuvimos respetando los símbolos, right? And that's straight, that's correct, that's what we need. Esto es lo que necesitamos, right? Si hablamos siempre como salvadoran people, como los salvadoreños, fíjate que ahora me fue bien mal. Fíjate que ahora estoy bien cansada, all right? English is not like that. Inglés no es así, para nada, all right? So try to keep that in mind. Tratemos de poner eso en la mente. And you'll see. Y verán, all right? Eh, aprender un idioma no es solo aprender la parte gramatical y aprender a, a hablarlo y escribirlo. It's also about mental things, all right? También requiere mucho de trabajo mental, de aceptación y saber que lo podemos lograr. So that's pretty much it, everyone, for today's class. It has been a pleasure to be with you, and I'll see you next class, which is tomorrow. Bye. See you. Bye. Yeah, Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye, teach. Tomorrow. See yeah. ya. I see you tomorrow.